Hello guys, today we're going to use Affinity Publisher version 2 to draw some lines on our artboard. Alright, so here I am in the document. As you can see, that's a blank canvas, A4, just one page for this demonstration. And some of you may notice that already, we cannot find a proper line tool on the list. Some of you have been searching for it, opening the shape tool, nothing here. And that's fine because we got this pen tool above and the pen tool will work just fine. So we grab a pen tool. If you want to make a straight line, we just click one time and then click at the end of the line and two points will be connected. If you want to continue with that, you can keep clicking to connect more points and create this line here. From the stroke panel on the right side, we can modify the width of the stroke. And of course, we can control the color of it as well over here. So take a look, we can change the color of it, no problem. All right, so here it is. If you draw your line and you want to make some changes to it, you can use something called Node Tool. That's this second selection tool, the white one. This Node Tool allows us to move those nodes around so the line will reshape just like that. You can even delete a node in the middle and the line will reconnect to the next one. So that's really handy. We can delete unnecessary nodes by clicking on them and then hit delete on your keyboard. All right, so that's how we can use pen tool to draw a line. What if you need a proper straight line? That's easy. Click and then hold shift to lock your tool in perfect straight position like that. You can, of course, turn this line into dash line. We can modify the dash over here so we can make the gap larger, like two points. And here it is. Okay, and of course, we can change the width of it. Next, how we can make a wavy line. So we could use a property of pen tool if you click and drag, you got those control points. They will allow you to bend the line. So instead of just click, 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 you need to click and drag. And this way you will bend the line. As you may notice already, this technique required some experience with the pen tool. Some of you will have to pick a note tool after that and readjust that. There's actually a trick I can show you, so you can make a way better wavy lines. So let's just go with the pen tool. All right, and I will simply make a very rough line like this, clicking, clicking, clicking. Okay, now we're going to realign all the points at the bottom, so by selecting them with the Node tool. And I will use the alignment panel. Take a look over here. Let's align them. Same with the top. I'm going to align them. All right. And then I will also distribute them. So I will click here, space horizontally. Okay. And I will distribute the bottom part as well. Be sure all of your notes are sharp notes, so we don't want any curvy notes. So here, this one, and this one. And this way, even though we draw it very rough, now it's perfect wavy line. Maybe you want it to be rounded. No problem, let's make a copy of this. And to make it rounded, we can actually link to our I think the designer persona and use the round corner tool. If I switch my persona to designer, we can go with the corner tool and we can round those corners nicely like that. Take a look. Very quickly, a nice wavy line. All right, guys. So that's how you can use a pen tool to draw lines in your Affinity Publisher. Simply grab a pen tool. If you're clicking, you're making straight lines. But if you click and hold, click and hold, click and hold, you will create a wavy line. 
we can use alignments to realign some nodes in the line so don't worry if the line is not perfect in the first go you can use nodes using the node tool you can move your nodes around or you can actually use the alignment panel and align them exactly as you want so that's all editable we're working vector line i hope this video was helpful if you'd like to learn more about affinity publisher i just published a one hour long class on skillshare so if you are a member on skillshare you can watch it for free i will drop a link in the description you can follow the link for one hour beginner friendly class when i will show you more tools and we'll also design a business card together so the link will be there and i hope i will see you in the next tutorial bye